same thing when I teach some classes and we have every level. If you take one thing home today that can change your entire day, that's a great day, right? But if you're higher level, you should take like three or four, this is better. <laughs> you, should, you should take like three or four things home today. Um, I did fit a good amount into a small space just because I, I love to set up like a beginning to end flow um, so that you can choose what to take from it. Um, as well as some of you guys are really good at just linking that together. Um, but I also want you to remember what you learn and then you can go back and look at the small details. Like for now, the arm drag, I know it's tricking people up a little bit because I went from one arm drag to a different arm drag. But I do that in the sense that, you know, there's never just one way, right? And sometimes I think we go for one move and then we're like, oh, it didn't work. And in that moment of, oh, it didn't work, you could be on to the next thing. Right? Especially for those of you who like to compete, like there's no time to sit out there and go, oh no. There's just a, oh, it didn't work that way, that opens up this, right? So if you feel a little overwhelmed, do like he said, breathe in the nose, out the mouth, um, and then look at one of us and be like, what is she talking about? Please come help me, <laughs> okay? Um, so I'll just give you a few details real quick before we move forward. So one main thing is when I go for this over under arm drag and he sits back up, initially my hand is, here, like on top, you can do this arm drag from top or bottom. I like to get here and switch it because, you know, in jujitsu, keep your friends close, keep your elbows closer. Yes? So when I arm drag, it keeps me from like flaring out if I'm on top when I get to this under grip. Make sense? At the same time, it's natural because a lot of times in a butterfly, in an arm drag or a butterfly sweep, we go back and lift. But for this one, we're legit going sideways. Because if I take him back even a little bit, his marine thighs are too heavy. <laughs> right? Something about a rock and roll. Yeah. All right. So from here, I like to really drag him because it makes him heavy on this side and it makes this leg a little lighter. Right? So when I arm drag, I'm also not like trying to sit up. Like I know that I'm going to go to my forearm. Because then, wherever I go, there you are. Make sense? The minute that I start to go that way, my legs are kicking as high in the air as they will. Because with gravity and his waist, they're not gonna go that high anyway. But I need to elevate his waist as much as possible. And it's not really his waist, it's his leg. Once I'm here, so we'll just start from this arm drag, just two on one, okay? Grip, deep grip. Completely to the side, completely lifting. And it took me a while to understand the difference between this and like a, a diamond, right? So when I say diamond here, it's not up here on his thigh. You don't want him to be able to bend his leg, right? It's here. So now if he tries to put his leg down, I can keep pushing his weight sideways. Understand? So from here, I don't have to do a lot of movement. I'm literally just going to kick my leg up in the air, and then his ankle holsters right into the hip. Make sense? The minute I'm here, my foot goes to the hip. Be sure you're not this guy. You're out of there, okay? Make sure you're not a reaper. <laughs> I didn't even call her out. Yeah, but she knew. She knew. She knew. It's okay. It's a small tradition with Carrie. Okay. But you want to be aware of when you're reaping and when you're not, especially single leg X. It's really hard because sometimes you're so focused on the technique you're reaping on accident. And sometimes if you're competing, your opponent sees a way that they could just get you out so they can go to the next person. True story, I've seen it twice, okay? But you cannot blame people <laughs> for when you get dq or when you're reaping. You have to become highly aware of what's happening with your leg and take that control. Yes, okay, so here we go. Connection, arm drag and lift. Right here, once I feel somewhat comfortable, nothing else moves. Everything is engaged, nothing is lazy. You cannot be lazy when you're on bottom, okay? I kick up, it goes right to my hips, foot goes here, armpit here. I don't reach through like this. Some people like that. To me, it creates a circumference he can rotate his ankle within. When I squeeze with my armpit, he tries to move, and wherever he goes, there we are, okay? You should be able to grip people just like you would grip with your hands here, right? Should be just as strong here. So again, two on one. The minute I go to the side, both my legs come up. Right? Lift, kick, 
foot in the hip, and I'm kind of pushing him away, both with my arms, this is why I don't want to be on my back. Pushing sideways, lock this up, pull it in your arms and if you need to. Make sense? Go between the arms, uh, gripping the arms and gripping here, so you can feel the difference in control. He'll stand up, and that's as far as we go for now. One more time. So one arm jack, I kick up, lock it up. My partner stands with a lot of balance. Questions? Try it out, one, two, three. 